Hello and welcome back to 3D6 in Orders. Today my dice arrived from Easy Roller Dice, so I say, how about we make this one a little bit different? How about I roll 3D6 for real? Instead of using a dice roller, see how that works out. So let's get straight to it. First is the strength roll. I roll a monstrous 16. That's impressive. That's an impressive score to just roll out the bat. That's actually one of the higher scores we've gotten on the show so far. Let's be clear here. Uh, 335, that's 611. That's not bad. You might have a fighter here if he rolls good on constitution. And he rolls 11, 14. Okay, so we might have a fighter here. If not a paladin, if we can get charisma, we can get a paladin out of this. Um, so that's 8, 11 on intelligence. He's not dumb. This guy's, uh, guy's got chops. These dice are lucky. Lucky dice. Nope. Here's a, here's a, here's a meek 10. Come on, charisma. Give me a paladin. Nope. An 8. <laughs> this is, um, hmm. I guess I'm more of a tactile fighter. Because everyone is always like, if it's not a modifier, it's not a real thing. Man, I feel sad about these dice. They were doing so good. They were doing so hot. Oh, and then I roll an 8 again. Only with... well... That aside, let's move on with our lives. Specifically, let us roll some backgrounds. Where did our character come from? 1d8. Where's my d8s? Here it is. The black d8 decides fate and decides that we come from a, that this character comes from a castle! So we got a strong character who comes from a castle. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I want you to tell me it doesn't make sense. Okay, so there's a problem. Some of these dice, uh, particularly black ones, have some damage to them. I don't have a 1d4 or the d20 of a certain set either, so... Wait, this is a d20. I need a d12. This is a d12, right? So, on the other hand, though, five complete sets. Can I complain? I can afford a bulk deal. Two. Our character <laughs> is a courtesan. So... <laughs> <laughs> With that kind of charisma, I I think they didn't quite succeed. I think it's the, I think they're gonna have it out of their endurance. Maybe they're just a bouncer. Like they work. Like we don't have to take this literally. We could just say, well, they're courtesan, and you know, they're like the bouncer of the team. Someone's got to be the bouncer. Also, I plan to do uh, Dark Siders remastered and Dark Siders two soon. In case anyone is curious about what I got planned up and running. Um, to break up the tension a bit with uh, the other one. These are nice. I got a red set of dice. I got a black set of dice. I got these weird molded... I got a nice yellow one that looks bla yellow with black writing. Then these nice translucent ones that look like candy that I kind of want to bite into. And then some purple ones. I really want to bite into these translucent ones. They look delicious. I don't want dice that I want to eat. <laughs> Actually, I would totally go for gummy dice. So, let's go for the obvious one. This is a lady. This is a... No! She's a trap. She's like, you're like, haha, there's no guard here. There's just that old wench. And the old wench is like, ah, ha, 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 snaps your neck. Ha, 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 I'm an old wench. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like that idea. We gotta, I like sassy old ladies. I love sassy old ladies that kick your ass. What do we name him? Oh, let's call her he Hexus. Because, um,. The funny thing about last names no one ever forgets about, there's a lot of people who in Dutch who are called Born Naked. Um, or actually am Born Naked. Um, so, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna say, some people probably have a shitty last name. <laughs> Maybe she she went with it, she's like, eh, I don't care. Hey, I don't care. Hey, Man, I love rolling dice, they're fun. It's fun to do. I kinda need more space though. I can't put all my dice in here and keep, keep rolling. I need, I need space. I need this thing to bounce off the wall. I like when they bounce off the walls. Makes it feel more real. Um, Iconic gear. So what defines Hexus? What does Hexus have that makes her so exciting? Well, actually, let's go to fighter. What can we pick from? What kind of what kind of delicious weapons can we select for our delicious fighter? Uh, equipment. There we go. Equipment. Weapons. There we go. Oh, I know. Let's go for the scorpion whip. She's a shaggy. No, let's go for... Mm. Scorpion Whip is neat. I like the Scorpion Whip a lot, but... Switchblade? I mean... We could do both. Like, she she has a... No, no, if we're gonna go... We're gonna go with, like, Switchblade Short Sword. Yeah, I like that idea. She... Ah, they'll make her two... They'll make her two weapon fighter. Could she do that? No, she doesn't have the dexterity for that, so she can't be two weapon fighter. She's gonna be sword and, bo sword and board. Um, or just weapon. Um, we really gotta exploit that. So what would she use in terms of two-handed weapons? What are there under uh, martial weapons? Will be a nice two and a heavy flail. Maybe a falchion. I mean, she doesn't have the dexterity, so I want it to be something that's like big and bulky. She just has a great club. <laughs> or a great axe. The great axe is better in so many ways. Jesus, what the hell's wrong with this weapon? 
It's got a better die and a better critical. It weighs a bit more, but that's not much. Yeah, I like that idea. She just has a giant axe. I may be old, but I have a huge axe! <laughs> uh, what's with the great axe? Maybe it's constantly like... Maybe it's like exuding something. Like a, like a gas or, or like dust. Ooh, that'd be awesome. It's, a, it's an axe, but when you swing it, like a whole flash of dust comes out. The Dusty Trail. Great axe. This is from another character. Did I ever post that? I don't think I posted that, so... I like rolling these for real. Because there's this little clicky clacks, and you look, and you're like, Oh man, I rolled an 11, really? Come on! Something over 11. That's 15. Radical. I need to start keeping track of which dice are lucky. That way I can screw someone over. <laughs> At least I have all my D6s. You can't live... You can't play a game without 66s. Then you can roll two stats at once. You know, I've been thinking about a new rolling mechanism, um, and that rolling mechanism is called 3-4. Uh, and the way it works is you do, I think it was 3-D-4, or was it 4-D-4? See, 3-D-4-B plus, so yeah, I think it was 3-D-4 plus um, 4. The idea being that you kind of get a good spread of stats. The only problem is it's boring as all hell. So, it's 3-D-4 plus 4. Um, so you'll usually get, like, good numbers. Um, let's, let's roll it six times. I think the idea that I have behind this is, you roll it twice. You roll it twice, like this. Um, uh, and then you take the highest of one set, and then you take the lowest overall. So, you generally get some good stats, but you're also gonna end up with three stats that fucking suck. Um... Let's take a look, yeah. So, it's much more likely that you'll end up with, like, some... Like, you'll end up with good stats, like, you might even get a 20. I think the idea was you could get a 20. Can you get a 20 with that? No. I had it set up as a way you could get a 20. Maybe it was 40... Yeah, it was 44 plus... Um, it was 44 plus 4. So you can get a 20. If you rolled really lucky, you'll get a 20. Um, but otherwise, you'll get... No, actually, that's only from an 8. Then in that case, you might as well go like 66 uh, plus 2. Or 3d6 plus 2. 3d6 plus 2 is generally higher. You can get it from 5 to 20, which is not a bad spread when you think about it. I've been thinking just about something that gives you good stats, but you roll in such a way that you always end up with garbage stats too. That aren't too garbage, like they're bad that you're like, man, I got something to play with. But at the same time, not too bad. Hmm. Hmm. What is her main event? Maybe she like meets a courtesan that like abuses her, her niceness. How do you spell this word, then? Old Klein Taylor. Really? No? What the hell? Whatever. Let's take a smaller objective here. Just, like, trying to convince this one group. Because before they were, like, somewhat bigger adventures. Let's just do one that's just, like, a little thing. Like, just a little encounter.
I like that. I like this idea a lot. I mean, like, think about this. She's a, she's a big, strong fighter who, like, protects um, courtesans. So, naturally, she, she'd be like, hey, listen, you're, you're kind of messing everything up for everyone by doing this. And they're like, we don't really care because we can just flee. And so she's like, okay, if I can't convince you, then the very least what I can do is I can just, I can go. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Goodbye. Wait, these make pentagon. Oh, my, they make pentagons. That's cool. The D4s almost make a pentagon. Um, so she, she goes, you know what? If I can't change your mind, maybe I can change myself. Maybe I can become better, work harder. Wouldn't 5D4... 5D4 wouldn't be a bad one, when I think about it. What would 5D4 be in terms of numerics? Not 5D5, 5D4. Okay, it's not bad. Like, if you roll that twice, you could get anywhere from... Yeah, you could get some pretty good stats out of that. Um, let's roll 65, 54. So, let's take a look-see. Um, out of this, we could get a 17, a 15, and a 13. Because you got to stick to one set. So you got to pick a few... Okay, so here you can go... I can go 15, 16, 14. Or I can go 17, 15, 13. Because you can only pick one set to get your high stats from. They have to pick the lowest stats overall, which are 11 and 12. So it's not bad. You still end up with a really good set. But... Let's say you get a bit worse. Um, wow, what the fuck is going on here? You're supposed to be able to roll fives, but I'm just rolling top notch here. I think it's the averages, because you're rolling 44. The averages are so much stronger. Um, actually, no website for that. This is any dice. Uh, 5d4. Calculate. Okay. Yeah, so your odds of getting a, an average stat are pretty good. So if you want to roll high, there you go. Uh, if you want to roll a bit lower, do this minus two. Uh, oh yeah, your odds of getting... You can girl 24? No, you can't. What the hell are you sm... Oh, it's because it's 5d5. Whoops, what are you sm... What are you smoking? <laughs> yeah, your odds of rolling a 20 are tiny. But, your odds of rolling above here is pretty good. Like, your odds of rolling something... Like, you roll something nice. You roll something nice is the point. And, and some people just roll roll nice. And if you want to roll... If you want to roll corroborate, you always got 3d6 in order and, and just chug it. Also, here's the thing I like. What you could do, is you could say, I really want these stats. So for those stats, you keep rolling until you reach, like, a minimum of X. And if you're a little bit higher, yay! And if you're a little bit lower, aw. And the other stats, you keep the garbage. You ha you, roll a, you roll a set of six, of, of six numbers of 3d6. Um, you take the lowest. You get three stats you get to re-roll. Um, and you take the lowest of the overall set. So if you roll hot garbage, congratulations, you're stuck with hot garbage. Um... And then you roll until you get, like, at least a 12, so that you at least can cast some spells, or do a magic thing, or, or, or jump off a cliff and not die. She doesn't hold up. She can't 
hold our stuff up. No, that's not the point of ultra drawback. What do we get here? I like this idea a lot. Like, you just basically, you go beast mode. Like, if someone gets fucked up, you go beast mode. And when things are really bad, your character just goes, you know what? Aah! You just go after him. It's great. It's great. It's great, great stuff. Man, this thing looks so delicious. Why do you look so delicious? Are you the, t are you the next Tide Pod Challenge? Translucent Dice? I don't want to be part of that. I rolled like three 16s in a row with this thing for some reason. It was great. It was great. Not a 15 credit. Or you can always roll 1d20. I mean, if you really want to go nuts, hard, balls to the wall, insane, roll 3d20. Whatever you get, it's going to be just incredible. Let's roll... Let's. Ro you know what? Next time, we'll, we'll roll... We'll roll the hilarious... Um, we'll roll 60-20s in order. And it's going to look something like this. Sixty twenty in order. <laughs> oh my god, I rolled a one in a twenty. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's gonna be great. Fourteen, and then I roll a nineteen, and then I roll a one, and I actually rolled a one, I called it! These dice are great. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot one part. What is the victory condition? There we go. So next time, 3d6 in order goes 3... goes 1d20. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna record that right now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna record that. I'm not going to record that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Is I'm gonna roll and see what comes out. Because I'm just... I'm just wanna... Because like I said, it's nuts. This is gonna be nuts. Regard Like, you're not gonna get a viable character like this unless you do free assign. If you do free assign, you might make it. It, it, like, seriously, if you do free assign, you might make it. I rolled a 20. I rolled a 20 on Constitution. This literally just rolled the tankiest character. 11. Yeah, without free assign, you're not going to get anything that's worth having. 18. Okay, so this is this is a cleric. This is one hell of a cleric and a 10. Yeah, this is a, an undisputed cleric. Look at that! That's some scores, man. Maybe I'll do 2d20, and we'll just say, hello. No, I'm not going to do 2d20. 2d12 might be interesting to do. What would the average be again? Um, it's 6.5 on a regular d20, so it would be 13. That's fair. <sighs> I, I, it just look, look at this, and tell me that's not great. Maybe we'll do free assign, and I'll just say we'll go for a cleric. Okay, 